Now, it's come to be with the passage of time that people talk about paradigm shifts and they talk about various different things. And they're pretty much using these days, I think, the word paradigm and the capital W worldview all encompassing picture of the world as sort of interchangeable labels. And you know, that's okay, but I think it's very useful to have that tighter sense that Kuhn had of a paradigm as being a, a very uh, precise kind of prism uh, through which we're looking when we do our work. Uh, that makes it much easier to answer questions that are constantly being put and questions that I deal with at length in uh, Practically Profound about how paradigms change. Uh, because a paradigm, say for science, that has a set of givens that are they're just given, if something comes down, so to speak, out of the sky, and it just doesn't fit, it won't work, then you change. You just have to. And it may be a bloody process. Uh, but moving from the Earth is the center of the universe uh, to a heliocentric view of our particular neighborhood of the universe was, pardon the bad pun, it was earth-shaking. Uh, and it was disruptive. But it was possible. Of course it was possible. It happened. And things that aren't possible don't happen. So paradigm shifts do occur, usually at some cost. 